Hello and welcome to a Yorkshire Railways video. Uh, sorry I've not been uploading in a while, but uh, as some of you know on my Instagram, I moved house last year, uh, and that's the main reason why I haven't uploaded. But uh, today I'm here to show you the first stages of the new layout. Um, so I put some track down just as a start, but as you can see, I've got quite a extensive layout in here. Um, in terms of size, it stretches all the way around here in this L shape here, uh, and I've just set out a track just to give it a bit of a um, a test, basically, because I couldn't wait to put trains on it. So that's an eight foot board, and that is an eight foot board, and they are four foot wide. Uh, so I've got two of those, eight foot by four foot, and that's in this L shape here, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a nice space to work with. Um, don't get me wrong, everything, you could always have it bigger, but uh, I've been thinking I could extend it along here, uh, as this is the end here, and have a sort of depot area uh, jut off from basically the, the inside of that uh, third radius term. I've been having a bit of play around here uh, with having maybe a goods area here, um, but uh, basically my plan was to have uh, this based on Edinburgh Waverley um, and I saw a picture from back in the 1980s or 70s uh, when they had like an industrial area and the um, uh, the station as well but as with everything you know you dream up these dreams and size just will not allow me to do it here so what I've decided is uh, I sort of want to make a fictional railway now where basically I can have a station, a goods area, or a depot, um, and uh, basically that will follow it around uh, the board, and yeah, it'll basically, uh, uh, I want a helix in the back corner, um, and that will take it down uh, a layer, which I've already started, started building this, but I'm currently using it as storage for the locos, but, uh, but th this is the lower end, so I can keep the locos on the beds at all times um, so certainly for the more intricate uh, detailed like the uh, LNR uh, Azuma that I have I don't really want to be taking it on and off all the time uh, so I'd rather just leave it on the layout at all times some locos I'm not too fussed about but that but there are some with a lot more detail um, and basically the helix will go in that back corner go all the way up and enter through that back corner there um, which means Basically, I could run a, a train round down the helix and effectively it will just lead to more uh, playing around, basically, because uh, one train will go out the helix and another one will emerge. So that way the trains, you know, it, it doesn't feel like you're watching one go round and round all the time. You can literally leave one down there and then five or ten minutes later, bring it back on. Um, so I've got the ply plywood here. My plan is I am going to be... Uh, extending that but I didn't quite want to take the shelves off because I've just put them up um, and uh, yeah I don't really want to be moving the Lego at the minute uh, so I've currently just done the back um, it doesn't quite fit as you can see in that back corner um, that's because the shed was second hand um, came free of charge lovely from uh, my boss at work uh, so it's a 12 foot B uh, uh, eight foot shed um, so yeah it, it, it's a really nice size shed uh, but unfortunately uh, every day that I had off to put it up it rained as last year was just horrendous for the weather and unfortunately it did warp a little bit so it's not gone quite up uh, as the way I planned so that's why those plywood boards don't fit straight um, but yeah uh, I've been having a bit of play around with the track as you can see, I'm not fully set on the idea, uh, but, you know, uh, you can always write down in the comments what you think I should do. Do you think we should have more of a industrial theme to it or more of an express theme? Um, I say I'd, I'd like to have a little bit of both, but lean heavily more on one than the other. Um, I certainly do have a lot of express locomotives, but I've also got a lot of uh, goods locomotives so it would be nice to have a bit of everything on the layout um, but as with everything there has got to be compromises 
But yeah, I've I've learned through sort of I've been watching a lot of uh, modelers on YouTube, um, as well as talking to them, and yeah, some people definitely go a lot more into realism than others, and I definitely say looking at the ones that uh, don't go into realism as much in terms of the actual layout, but more what's on the layout, they seem to be having a lot more fun, um, and I, I definitely say going. Everything has to be identical to identical. There's a lot more stress involved with it, and just just doesn't seem as fun. So yeah, I think I'm thinking I'm going to make a fictional layout, um, and it will be based around sort of not quite Edinburgh, but uh, basically on the East Coast Main Line, where we can go from. Um, either either sort of like uh, you know we can have lots of L N E R G N E R. Um, East Coast um, trains meeting up with Scott Rail uh, and things like that. So that way, that way I can have a bit of everything on the layout. But you know, I'm not really one for you know if if a Great Western train appears on my layout, I'm not going to be like, oh no, we can't have that because it's Great Western. It doesn't quite feature on the East Coast Main Line. You know, did, what's a model railway supposed to be? It's supposed to be fun. So end of the day, I'll find a justification for it one way or another. And uh, that way we'll have a nice layout where basically anything can run and it will not look out of place. Um, you know, I, I definitely would quite like to sort of have one side more of a urban area and one side more of a countryside. That way I can do a lot more modelling and hone my skills in terms of uh, painting and things like that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Just pick it up again. Uh, so track-wise... I'm using Hornby set track. Um, that's only because I've got lots of Hornby train sets. Um, so that's the reason why I'm using that. I am going to get some like Pico point work, I think, uh, just because they have a bit better options. Like I quite like the four way slip, um, just because it doesn't take up as much room in some instances. Um, I think that might be a bit better, especially for the station. Uh, but yeah, uh, once I get to a sort of an area where I'm happy with it, like I, I could quite easily take this area here and put that over there and have a bigger area for a station as well as a bit more scenery. Um, that possibly could be an area. Um, yeah, but, uh, I've got my little helper here. This is Obi. You're a good boy, aren't you? He likes helping out in the shed. He likes stealing things from a shed, but uh, but yeah, uh, we're gonna give it a go, and uh, we'll come back when we've got a layout that's uh, a bit more fine-tuned. Uh, as always, you know, if you want to. Drop down some ideas in the comments down below. Um, feel free, or you know, if you want to draw up an idea, um, send me a picture of it on my Instagram. Um, that that will be a, a big help. You know, if you, if you want to have an idea and you think this would be a good idea to do here or such, such as such, um, let me know. Um, I'd be a uh, really really big help um, and uh, if you have any pictures of like Scottish model railways or East Coast mainline uh, model railways um, just to give me some idea for the scenics basically um, you know at the end of the day I'm still beginning uh, I'll probably be able to find a picture of my like my first ever layout my granddad built me uh, but that was just basically the Hornby uh, like track map layout um, and it, but it didn't even have like a double track main line it had like it was just one th out of third loop and an inner third loop with a turntable um, but you couldn't run two trains at once you had to run one and then if it went to the inside uh, yeah it was a bit uh, a bit silly in that sense but uh, but yeah well, uh, we'll see what we can come up with and uh, we'll uh, 
we'll get on with it, yeah. So I'm just having to play around with the track and I think I found a layout that I'd be quite happy with. So uh, we've got the third radius curve coming around here, into the slight dip, into the point work here. As you can see, this is like the, the outer rail. We'll come down here, round here. I'm going to make a bit of a support. As you can see, I'm already in the process of doing that. Over here, and then round the outer loop. Background. So coming back over here, so second radius will come down here, and I need another cross uh, bar, but that will basically go straight into there, and this will be the second radius curve as it comes round here. As you can see, I've got another one. So we're still on third radius. It's also, I know most trains do do better on third radius, but coming up here, I'm going to have a long centre uh, dead end station. So, DMUs will be able to go in there. Um, and so, again, here, another shorter one here, just for like a single carriage DMU. Going back out for a outer passing loop that will come around here and enter the point work here. So I can basically can have second radius um, trains basically going around at the same time as the first radius. And then background to here, I'm going to have another passing loop come around here and join up here. So that, that could basically go through one big crossing, just so I've got one giant station that'll come around here, which, yeah, I quite like, uh, like the look of that. And then, yeah, we've got double radius that'll go around and loop back around. So, yeah, I think this is a nice little staging area. I think my initial idea of having uh, a point work somewhere here coming off and having a depot area here I think that is going to be a, a likelihood um, just because this area isn't going to be used for anything it's high enough above so it's just going to go straight out under my desk but I think it'd be nice to have a little bit of a depot area all that's up with um, yeah it's like a depot which would be quite nice um, and then yeah we're going to work on the scenery around here so I'm thinking basically this area will probably have a road bridge going across we'll have like a bit of a town area here um, probably a double cross, uh, so like the level crossing. Um, that will probably go over here somewhere, um, leading to a car park and uh, whatnot. And then over here will probably be a bit more of a country scenic area, um, which would be quite nice. So we'll have like the urban area, the country area, station, um, depot, which I think would be quite nice. Um, just need to get a bit more point work and whatnot because as you can see there's a few bits uh, and nickels that don't quite link up just because of the length of everything but um, I've got it working enough that I can run some trains whilst we wait for those little bits uh, to come um, but yeah I think for now I'll work on getting this supported and we'll, uh, we'll be able to run trains a lot more safely. I'm thinking just take it out to about here. Um, should be enough. Um, and then not really sure what to do over here. Uh, whether to have like a tunnel portal. I could bring it out to here. And that way I've got a bit more room to go straight across. A diagonal route. Um, I'm not really sure with that one. Let me know in the comments down below what you think... Uh, would be a good way to end the station basically and there we go just a little bit of uh, plywood and we're all sorted class 47 just going by uh, trusty tools in mind but we've got yeah nice little structure i'm going to build a support beam upwards i think uh, just to go across here and straight down um just so that because I, I sometimes have to climb on the board just because i haven't got four foot long arms but i wanted to go as big as possible um, but just so that when I'm sat on it, uh, it doesn't flex. I mean, there's not much flex in it now, but 
I feel like my weight on it might just tip it over the edge. So, uh, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see where we go with that. But uh, but yeah, happy with the progress so far. So I've just uh, done a little bit of something different with the layout as it is. I'm quite happy with how the station's working out to be, but uh, I've decided to connect this point work up instead of the diamond crossing. Uh, same with this point work here. Um, that's just because it allows me to run the outer loop. So that's all that down there. Um, missing the second radius in the loop, but I can also gain access to this through the diamond crossing. So that's still connected, but I can just run straight up there. I can run this here as another terminal station. I can run this loop, which is another second radius, uh, but that's gonna be the inner like passing loop so it's not going to have a station to it um, there's a yeah uh, and then I can run the outer loop as well uh, which is third radius so third radius will come down here through the point work and connect back up to third radius as uh, so that way you get a lot more playability I know uh, my, my trains can run on second radius, but a lot of them are third radius. That means that uh, I'll be able to have trains moving either direction at any given point. Um, which I think will be uh, a lot more beneficial. So uh, instead of the old route, we we'll use the uh, class 47. As you can see, it goes all the way up there. Round. And around like that, which uh, is a lot better, I'd say. So now that we've got uh, this temporary layout laid out, I think uh, the main thing is to uh, get some trains running. So uh, let's see how we go with them.
So just using the uh, leftover pieces of track that I've got, I've fitted the level crossing in. I've taken the rest of the straights that I've got and the second radius curve just so I can come around and that's the dead end. I'm thinking of this station here, rather than it just connecting here, um, basically bringing it all the way down and having a point work here uh, so that it will come up, join, uh, just so that I can have a really long station so that it would start from like here, loop all the way around, down to about here, uh, just so that um, if I, you know, want a really long rake of trains, uh, for instance the Flying Scotsman, uh, I've got quite a long rake of trains there and I want it to be able to sit all the way along um, without it looking, you know, stupid here, because I don't think that along here there'll be, this is quite a long platform, but I don't think that there'll be a, uh, a long enough zone for some of my longer trains. So yeah, I, I think that uh, having a long platform all the way across and then it come down here um, and have the line run all the way down there and connect here, uh, I think that will work a lot better. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Yeah, so just to give you a little bit of demonstration, that's basically how it would sort of go all the way up. Um, and then we'll have a point work there to take it as such as well. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think. Do you think that's a good idea or if you should keep it how it was before? Um, obviously we'll have that we'll need to come across here. We'll need another two diamond crossings uh, to go across. Um, <clears throat> or possibly like a, a four-way point, I'm not, not sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out, but yeah. Let me know if you prefer. Okay, just so that like it's a bit more easy to visualize, but that way basically we can get one, two, three, four, five, six. A six car HST in here. I don't think it's that bad. It doesn't look that stupid on the layout. Um, obviously those two are Hornby's Mark Threes, uh, the previous, like the old editions, but I still even think, you know, with the extra length on there, that will only take it to about here, so. Yeah. And we're not blocking off uh, down there yet, so yeah, I, I think uh, realistically, five cards, six car HST. That's that's not too bad, but let me know your thoughts. Is there any way you would do this to sort of make it make sense? So I realised that I didn't film a outro to this video, so uh, I'm just going to reuse this clip of the class one five three. Um, but yeah, very thank you very much for joining me in this video, and I hope you've enjoyed the progress made so far on the layout. Um. As I said, uh, you know, if you've got any suggestions uh, to the track work or uh, what you'd like to see in this uh, sort of series of building the model railway, then um, yeah, feel free to drop that in the comment section down below, and uh, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Um, as always, if you haven't already, uh, please give me a subscribe. You know, plenty more videos on the way now that we have somewhere for the layout to be. Um, so there's going to be more model railway reviews, as well as obviously the building series as it continues. So that's all from me today, guys. Take care. See you later and have a good one. <laughs>